a lot of the purpose was about with me going to the NWO was helping new NWO to, to Japan, and we did that, and it was mm. huge. I mean, when I'm talking huge, it was huge. NWO in Japan was no joke. They were selling merchandise, I mean, diesel loads of this stuff. And uh, that was my, you know, I was working. See, when I wasn't on TV here, I was working over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I right. never stopped working in New Japan. I worked in New Japan, then I came back here and went to work. I mean, I was killing myself for five years. But, you know, I mean, it was a great opportunity for me. You know, I, was, uh, you know I, I took advantage of it the best I could. I, you know, and the NWO Japan was, I mean, when I came, when I used to first start wrestling in New Japan, when I would get to the airport, I would do press conferences at the airport. The reporters would be there for me. Photographers, it was a big deal. Well, then that kind of quieted down after you've been there for so long. When I got off the plane, me and uh, Jeff Bagel, I mean, Jeff Farmer and Marcus Bagel, I tell you, there were more reporters and cameras and crazy. That airport was full, and NWO fans were everywhere. And I'm just going, wow, this is, I mean, I, 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 we weren't expecting it. We got to the Kiel Plaza, the hotel we stayed at, big five star hotel, beautiful. Place was just slammed with NWO shirts, fans. People were just going nuts. Get up to my room. I'm going. This is like. I mean, it was like a madhouse. You know. I mean, they're just trying. You know, they're trying to get you to sign. You know. I mean, you can't take care of that many people. So, as right, the next morning, we go. You know, they tell us we're, we're leaving at eleven o'clock, and you know, we take touring buses over. They got a big, beautiful touring bus for us. I come walking downstairs, the lobby's full again, all NWO fans. It's just crazy. And I come walking out, and I see the bus, and they painted the bus, NWO. <laughs> hmm. It was crazy. And, I mean, the people, the last show I just did a while ago, I mean, my last show was last uh, December, I guess. It was Couple hundred NWO fans or shirts in the arena. I mean, they're still going crazy about the NWO over there. I see it all the time. They still sell the merchandise sells really well over there still. I'm just so yeah. New Japan was you know they did very well with the NWO, and that was you know part of my niche. You know, because we had our own group of Japanese Muda, Chono, Benzon, Kojima. You know, we had our little. Team, team, you know, NWO team, New Japan, and uh, it was great. It was a hell of a run. So that was, you know, something that nobody really understands why maybe I didn't get used to. You know, I mean, there's no question I could, you know, had a better run, and you know, if I'd concentrate, if I, I mean, if I'd have spent a concentrate on the states. I know I've got I've got a hell of a run. But it's not that I didn't try to have a hell of a run here, but it's hard to do that in two different places. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. They already I already got all my exposure in Japan. Now I can't get that much exposure in the states when I'm putting a program, and also two weeks later I got to be in Japan for a big show at the Tokyo Dome or something. So it breaks things up. It's, you know, it's glitches. And that's just, you know, but again, I wasn't let go of Japan. I was the guy. I had the spot. I worked my ass off for it. I wasn't giving it up. 